So how about this final thought? <clears throat> According to NASA, an extreme solar storm known as a coronal mass injection nearly slammed into Earth two years ago. Today, in fact, and the results could have been catastrophic. The old CME, Corey Powell, editor at large for Discover Magazine with us here now. If it had hit, we'd still be picking up the pieces today. That's, that's a mouthful. How are you, first of all? Good morning to you. In spite of everything, I'm good. Right, the, <laughs> <laughs> correct. The least appreciated natural disaster is what you say? Right, so people can get their heads around earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes. They see them, they understand exactly what that is. Uh, you know, coronal mass ejection, it's not a familiar term, it's not something that you see and feel, but even just normal solar activity causes something like about $100 million of damage a year to satellites and power lines, things like that. It's, you know, you, you see it in your phone bill, in your cable bill, in your, in your electricity bill, you don't really know what is there? It's the low-level repair cost of dealing with just normal solar activity. Really? What, ha what happened two years ago was a whole different thing. This is a this is a superstorm. By good luck, it was not pointed right at us. If that superstorm had hit July 16th instead of July 23rd and 24th of last of, of 2012, uh, it would have hit us. We'd be talking about this is be, we'd say, oh, this is the second year anniversary of the giant blackout. Well, what, it would be a whole it, different story. What would it have done? So there, there's a whole series of events that happen with a storm like that. The first thing it does is the, the radiation hits the atmosphere and it would mess up radio transmission. That's actually not the really bad part. The really bad part is that the, the second wave that overloads power lines, uh, so there are about 2,000 high voltage transformers around the country. If you have an extreme solar storm, you could blow most or all of those all at the same time. So imagine a blackout across the entire country in fact, maybe across the entire hemisphere, and then it takes months or years to replace those transformers. Well, but we're, we're defenseless, right? I mean, can we even predict the possibility? Well, so of, we of have a... we have very good short-term warning for these kinds of solar storms. For the for for something of this for something of this magnitude, what you need is you need disaster preparedness. Uh, you need backup equipment. You need evacuation plans. You need you know, think about emergency generators that could support your country. You know, not for not for a few hours, uh -huh. but for a few weeks or months. Uh, imagine like the internet shut down. Imagine all of your oh, yeah. banks, all of your banks yeah. shut down. You know, ima imagine, you know, the stock markets aren't running. Uh, your, your, water, your water supply isn't running. A lot more free time on our hands if the internet goes out. It, the last big one was 1859. We haven't had one since. We hope it stays that way. But we know you will be here when it happens. Corey, thank you. Right, and the one in 2012 was just as bad as 1859. It just didn't hit us. Wow. Missed it by that much. He's full of good news, isn't he, Martha? Yeah. <laughs>